My name's Brian. I live in Grass Valley, California. I'm uh, just a normal college-age guy. I like to hang out with friends, play video games, you know, go on just cool adventures and hang out. Uh, but I also have a eggnog addiction. I think, I think it just scared me, you know, because I've known him for so long and it's like we've been brothers and then, and I realized that he had just been hiding something from me and it just makes me wonder what else he's hiding and, and why, why he's had to keep this a secret. Well, I had texted Brian like five times one day and, and he wasn't replying and I, I called him and left him a voicemail. We were supposed to get together and hang out, but I, I wasn't getting a response from him so I got a little worried. and. I drove over to his place and and he didn't answer and I have a key to his house, you know, we're real close. So I, I just went inside and and he was in his bathroom and it, the bathroom door was cracked so I, I pushed it open and, and when I got in there, he was laying in the tub with his shirt off just covered in eggnog and he wasn't he wasn't awake and I for a second there I wasn't sure if, if he was even alive and I I asked God why why couldn't it have been me or, or why couldn't it, it have been oxycotton why eggnog why did why did he have to go so far right off the bat and God I I don't know it was just it was really those are some really dark times and just, I'm just really worried for him Eggnog, you know, is much more available during the holidays, uh, but, you know, I'm able to get it around the year. I actually have a guy who imports it um, for me, but, you know, sometimes it's heavier usage than others, um, but it's been going on for about four years now. You know, when I have, you know, the amount of eggnog in my system to get me to that point, I just... I feel I feel good. I feel like I'm on a Christmas time slip and slide. You know, I actually kept it hidden from my friends for, you know, the first three years. But, you know, they they found out one day, and and uh, it's definitely taken a toll on our friendship. You know, especially my friend Matthew. You know, it's we were best friends. We've been friends for years, and it's it's gotten to the point where there's there's times where I just I can't drink it anymore. And that I just, I'm behind locked doors bathing in it. Yeah, Brian's really changed a lot since he started using. I mean, you can you can really see the effects of the eggnog on him. I'll show you a picture from, this was about six months ago, right before he started drinking eggnog. That's what he looked like. And, I mean, he's not the same guy anymore. It's hardly recognizable. So, uh, I'm gonna go try and get some eggnog right now. So, I'm almost at the store looking to, uh, you know, score some eggnog. Just, I'm really kind of, I'm getting the shakes right now. Like, I really need this stuff. That's all I can think about, honestly, is just the eggnog right now. This is the good stuff right here. This is gonna last me about like four hours though. I mean, this is a lot, but Built up a tolerance. Oh, I feel like I'm in Santa's workshop and all the little elves are. Oh, they have wings. 
and then listening to a lot of Miley Cyrus. Came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, so I actually have a hookup on the uh, inside of the store. Uh, they they know me around here, and they only limit me one half gallon per day. So I have a, a hookup. Looks he's like right over here. Yo, Johnny! Johnny! Hey! Oh, you got the... the... Brian, I almost cut you, man! What are you doing dude, you got the... almost... dude, you're gonna get me fired. You can't come meet me here. Dude, I... You know they only let me have one a day. I need it, dude. I know, but I told you I was gonna meet you at your house. Here, pull, 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 come pull on. over. Pull over. Alright. Don't scratch my minivan! All right, dude, you got it? You yeah, got the stuff? Okay. You, got, you got my money, right? Yeah, dude, of course. What do you think I am? What sure. the? Wait, are you filming this? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No! He's cool. He's cool? He's cool. He's cool? He's cool, dude. He's cool. You got the stuff? Yeah, I got the stuff right here. Good. Good stuff. Good. Good try, man, dude. It's good stuff. I'm telling you. This is some good stuff, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Extra vanilla bean in that. We only got four carts. We only got four uh, pallets of that. Where's this? Where's this coming from? Oh, that's uh, it's 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 from this town called Frederick Hammer. It's uh, it's right next to the North Pole. They they literally got midgets making it. midgets. Do you know what's good, right? Oh yeah, midgets, midgets are, are base mid midgets are basically elves. They and he, we all know elves have know how to make good good some, things. Some good eggnog. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How's it taste? Oh, dude, it's like you know you know the ending of the movie Titanic, like, uh, like where everything sunk and yeah the aliens like like no no Jack that part yeah the, it was it's like the opposite. Gotcha. But, yeah, this gotcha. is like this is this is taking the Titanic out of the water, and and instead of people drowning, they turn into angels and they. You know fly what? Away. You, you know, who you remind me of Who's my mom in high school. <laughs> she. Uh, oh no. She's dead now. It's the noggies. Oh man. Ugh. You know, you know, out of all my, I usually don't tell my clients this, but you were, you were. You're messed up, man. You're really addicted to that stuff. In a good way, right? Like, well. Like, yeah, you helped me pay my child support payments. You know, I sell other drugs. You know, I've got heroin. I don't, dude, I don't want any of that. This is the. This is what. This is for me. All right. Right. Okay. I can't. I. If I woke up in a bathtub filled with heroin at 3 a.m., I wouldn't feel good about myself. Okay. I woke up in a bathtub full of ice. It's good. Dude, this is some good stuff. Yeah, you like it? <sighs> yeah. You try this? Uh... Alright, I'll try a little. <sighs> I need the cap. Right there with me, dude. Mm. I felt like I felt like I was a cocoon. I was the cocoon around the caterpillar. And hey, Chuck, he, you ever seen the movie Cocoon with all the old the old people and the aliens? Dude, <clears throat> I feel like I feel like I'm I'm an extra candle on that. The Hanukkah candlestick. We're in the center on the side. I'm like, dude, I'm I'm in the center. Oh, dude, I'm just. Oh, dude. That's this thing, this thing will spin your dreidel. Oh my God. <laughs> Santa's got a brand new bag. Dude, I'm. Oh, dude, I'm sitting on Santa's lap right now. He already knows what I want for Christmas.
hey, can you please give me some space? You know, I agreed to do this. I agreed to let you guys film me. I just, I really need some space right now, right? Please. So, Brian, we actually, we brought this film crew here. Yeah. And we wanted to record you so that you can, so that you can understand we have a problem. And this is actually your intervention. We want to help you. Brian, I miss the old you. I miss when we used to be able to just have good times together. You know, you, I don't know you anymore, man. This is controlling your life, and, and I'm really scared for where it's taking you, man. It's a gateway, and I don't want to see it destroy you. I agree, man. I, I really, I know what you're saying, and I need to give this up. I really do. Proud of you, Brian. You know, I need to change. So, I'm glad you guys are here with me and offering me this this rehab just so I can get my life together. Thanks, man. Thanks. Brian, proud of you, man. Oh! That's it. <laughs> That's some good stuff, dude. Eggnog at your local grocery store. <laughs>